Mark from Optitune. This year we're celebrating our 10 year anniversary and it's about eight years since we've been doing focused tunable lenses and since about five years we're applying them to machine vision applications and this is what I'd like to talk about today as we're at the vision show. We are showing a whole bunch of demonstrations of how liquid lenses can bring fast autofocus to your application. On this setup we're reading codes of cartons of different heights. Now your depth of field would usually not be able to cover such kind of differences in height so the trick here is that our uh, focus tunable lens is mounted in the front of a C-mount lens. Um, a distance sensor is picking up the distance that results in analog voltage that is fed into the lens controller from Gardasoft. So the 0 to 10 volts that go in the controller are relayed to an optical power of the lens in a lookup table and uh, the controller automatically sets the right current to the lens to get the right optical power. So the whole loop here from reading the distance to setting the lens takes 20 milliseconds. So basically on a five meter per second conveyor belt, you could uh, take a picture every 100 millimeters. I can show, for example, here the, the laser uh, distance measurement on this package. And as you can see, the image is immediately in focus and we can move up and down um, and the feedback will, will continue to run. So we basically stay in focus all the time. So uh, here we're showing a 50 millimeter lens which has been especially designed to integrate our EL1640. And the integration really provides a benefit because now the liquid lens is designed into the optimal space uh, in the optical design. So what we can show here is um, a large image circle for a 1.1 inch format sensor, a 50 millimeter focal length running at an F number of 2.8. And the quality is really amazing. We Remember that liquid lenses do have an impact of gravity, so people sometimes ask us, hey, can you take images in horizontal axis with the same quality as you can do in the vertical? And in this case, absolutely, yes, we can. So the quality is amazing. We can have a look at a few details of the image here. What we're just showing is we're changing focus between uh, the background and, and the foreground. Obviously, this lens has a very narrow depth of field, so the introduction of a liquid lens makes a lot of sense in such a lens. So in this demonstration here, uh, the fanciness increases a little bit. We are looking at a pedestal that has codes at completely different heights. And what we're doing here now is that the EL1030 built into this telecentric lens is running at a sawtooth at 20 frames per second. And at each sweep, the camera takes 20 pictures. Now, at the same frame rate of 20 frames per second, these 20 pictures are merged into a picture where everything is in focus. As a byproduct, we receive the distance information here. And over here, we'd also see the contrast. So if we threshold the contrast, everywhere where there's a good contrast and we know at what distance that was, we could generate a point cloud and do 3D measurements. So here we can look at the actual image stack. Um, so right now, the, the top barcode here is in focus. If we move down the image stack at some point, it's going to be the next code and the next code here. And at the bottom, we're going to have the last, the last code in focus in the bottom of the stack. Now, to show this also in real time in the stitched image, um, here we have the top barcode, the next one, the next one, and the bottom one. So this is all live. And what we can see is that the one at the top here is uh, represented in the dark color in the 3D map and the one on the bottom is uh, the white color in the 3D map. So on this setup we're just demonstrating a few further optical configurations. So on the left here we are showing a 4x telecentric lens with coaxial illumination. It's been designed by VST such that our EL1640 can fit right behind the aperture stop for best performance. Then here we're showing a larger format with a 30 millimeter image circle. Here we use the Schneider Apocompanon 60 millimeter lens and our EL1640 fits right behind it. We call that the back lens configuration. Then here we're showing our smallest lens, the EL310. It's mounted on a 12 millimeter S mount lens running on a one over 1.8 inch embedded camera. And on the right we see again an S mount lens uh, a six millimeter focal length and that lens is actually inside the C-mount camera and on top of all that is our EL1030 closing it off making it a very compact uh, solution. Well thank you for watching. 
Uh, there's a lot more to talk about regarding liquid lenses. Um, best is if you have an application where you need fast focusing, talk to somebody from Optitune. We're happy to learn about your requirements and help you find the lens and the optical solution that fits your needs best.